What is going on? My name is Carlos. Welcome to the channel. Peace, love, positivity. So today I'm going to be showing you a review of this heater that I got. Um, so I have my notes down here ready to go. So if you see me looking down, it's because I want to refer. I went through a really, really, really tough time trying to make sure I heat this entire space up. So this is a two car garage. It is about 24 by 22 um, with about 10 foot ceilings. And it's not the best insulated to the point where I had to get some uh, reflectics on the garage doors. I put foam around the, uh, the garage doors, etc. So it's not the best insulated, which meant that I needed a way to heat this place up to work out and it be somewhat bearable. Uh, I'll give you a, a nice little, uh, what's it called? Spoiler alert, <laughs> this definitely solved that issue. Um, but I'll, I'll start off by saying that I start off with those electrical, um, like just plug-in ones, the ones that go into your regular uh, outlets on the wall. So if I didn't notice until I did research and which, which is why I'm doing this video, because I want to avoid, I want you to avoid every single kind of issue that I ever went through and just bypass it and just learn from my mistakes. But anyways, when you're looking at these electrical um, heaters that just plug into regular outlets, you have the small rooms, the medium sized room settings or the size ones, the large uh, room ones, et cetera, et cetera. If you look at the en energy that they put out, it's, it's about 1500 watts, which is the maximum that you're in, let's just say, uh, mostly in the US that it's allowed to run at because it's a consistent 1500 watts. If you look at your microwave, you look at your blow dryer, they might exceed, I think it's the 1875. But anyways, whether it's a small size room one, the medium or the large, you look at their output, it's the same. But somehow they rate it at as a small, medium or large size room. So it doesn't make any sense. And on top of that, if you have those both running, you're gonna have to have them both running for a long time before you even step into the gym. And then that means your electrical bill is going to go through the roof. So the next thing I thought is, hey, I wanted to put one of those like electrical ones. Because I want to run any lines for like gas lines or any other lines outside or to my tank. So that corner up there, I wanted to put an electrical one that connects a 240 volt. Those heaters, those forced air heaters, forced air heaters are going to be uh, much cheaper and sense of like this the actual heater itself like 200 bucks 300 bucks if you get into like really good brands you're looking at maybe like 400 bucks um but i was gonna go for the 150 buck one and in theory it was gonna put out the right amount of btus if i did that and i got an electrical got to come in to plug it in all said and done i would have been 1800 dollars. and on top of that it's still gonna run on my bill on my electrical bill so i was like what's the next possible option so i got a propane heater i wanted one with like a uh, carbon monoxide detector, tip over um, protection, all the all of bells and whistles to make sure it was safe for indoor use. So I got a Mr. Heater Big Buddy Heater. It is really tiny. People use them inside their own tents when they're camping. It's really what it's made for. Um, goes out to like 18,000 BTUs, which is amazing, but it wasn't big enough to heat this entire room. I used a fan to help circulate the air. Didn't really help either. So I went and got this bad boy. This bad boy solved every single one of my problems. Now, I'm gonna switch the camera over, kind of talk to you uh, like some sort of like, I don't know, <laughs> commercial, I guess, just so it's like easier to understand. I can look at my notes a lot easier. But anyways, this is going to at least solve the majority of your cold problems. I'm up, I'm on in the Northeast above the, the Rust Belt. I'm right next to the lake, so the uh, wind chill makes it into single digits every morning. I'm in here at 6 a.m. So it is cold when I walk in. I have two uh, ways to measure, three technically, ways to measure temperature inside. And it boosts this place up by at least 30 degrees. So just take that into consideration. Even if I'm doing 30 and I get to 60, it's amazing. Once I start working out and my breath is kicking in too, it gets over 70 in here which is at that point I'm, I'm sweating too much where I wouldn't mind it being a little cooler. But anyways, I'm gonna switch it over. Let's get started. Alrighty, so first things first, please uh, disregard this massive 2XL hoodie. Uh, I'm comfy in it. It makes me feel nice and warm. So I'm wearing it instead of this fitted stuff that I would normally wear uh, when I'm working out. 
Anyhow, this is going to be the dining below vent-free wall-mounted heater. Uh, so whatever mount is on the wall, it's just one massive bracket. Uh, it's going to be about 16 18 inches long. All you do is screw it into the studs, and there's two hooks sticking out. And you just pop that bad boy right on there. That's literally it's mounted on the wall. Um, now, normally people will mount this lower because hot air rises. Uh, however, I wanted to make sure I didn't change too much of the layout in my garage uh, with the equipment because this is what as efficient as I think it could be as of right now. So I just mounted it up a little higher. Uh, now, this is going on HomeDepot.com for $202.58. I don't know why it's that exact dollar and figure amount, um, but that's what it is. Uh, I went yesterday to Home Depot and they do have it in stock. So if you don't want to wait for the shipping, you can go there and grab it. Um, I bought this one on Lowe's just because when I went to look for it, it just happened to not be in stock at the Home Depot near me. Um, so just double check either one, I'm sure you'll find it. And every type of like home improvement store has it anyways. So this one's gonna be convection, so you're gonna have actual flames um, showing as opposed to ceramic, which this one is gonna heat up more efficiently versus ceramic. Ceramic is just gonna heat up the area right in front of it. That's pretty much it. Um, whereas this will help push out the air just more naturally. It's the same that most uh, like central heating units and homes use, it's, it's con uh, convective as well, convection as well, sorry. Anyways, so um, next thing we got is gonna be the size of this. So this heats up about a thousand square feet. Uh, so this is under that, so this works pretty well for this. This has the opportunity to go either propane or natural gas. Uh, some people literally use these in their like RVs and stuff. So they have you know their tank outside, some people use them in their homes, uh, and they run the lines. I did not run the lines uh, to anything outside. It's a small 20 pound tank. I'll go over that as to how you can do that because that was one reason why I didn't want this one at first is because it said that it needed a 100 pound tank and around me, I don't know where to find that. So anyways, uh, it is rated for indoor use, like I said before, uh, so you're good there. Um, it has battery for Spark uh, to get the ignition going. Um, it's one battery that goes literally in the button, you screw the button to the ignition button and it goes in there. Uh, it's included in the package anyway, so you've got to go buy one. Uh, so ultimately, that's like kind of the overlay about this. Uh, so I'm going to go over the pros and cons. There's really only one con, um, and there's a lot of pros. So the pros, there's a one-year limited warranty on it, so you're good in case something breaks. Just make sure to reach out to the manufacturer. Automatic shutoff, so there's settings one to five uh, to make sure you control the heat. If at some point it'll get to the to the mid-range, it'll shut off and then turn on once the sensors that temperature is dropping again, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it heats up amazing uh, with a fan. So I'm saying with a fan for a reason. However, this comes with the ability to, in, to install a fan meant for this specific guy glow, which I do have installed. It's, I believe the part number is WFH-100. It's $30. It's a fan that has there that goes right in there. It's literally in between my fingers. Um, so this entire bar, you would think, was filled by the fan. Nope, just right there. Um, that fan costs $30, and if I, I mean, this one's going, but I tested it before anyways. I can't feel the wind being pushed five inches out from in front of the fan. It was the most, uh, like, it was a waste of money. So don't believe where it tells you it increases the efficiency and it you know makes the room hotter quicker that thing i can blow air much more intense than that thing can so don't do that so now you'll see a honeywell like 15 dollars uh, fan that i got from it's wall mounted fan from walmart now this bad boy has three settings um and it pushes air to 30 feet and let's just say i don't need to measure it because i feel without a doubt when i'm across the room now, this one over here uh, was 15 bucks. It was something that I just wanted to, to test it out before I bought anything more expensive. I do have an oscillating one coming in. It's gonna be wall mounted as well. I'm gonna put a picture of it. Of it. Put a picture up of it if I uh, have it here. Uh, and then it's just gonna oscillate back and forth. So it's just not pushing air forward. It'll push it around the entire room. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go over the, the one con, which is literally what it was, um, which was the, the fan that 
WFH 100. It's terrible. Does not work at all. Do not buy it. Uh, I'm gonna switch the camera over uh, and go over the installation on the 20 pound propane tank because that's something you're gonna want me to know. So let's get started. Okay, so we have this this thing going. Um, with this fan, it's it's meant more so for like uh, to be on a table or something, but it has the ability to get wall mounted. So I just leave it on setting three, and then whenever I want to power it or unpower it, I just take out the plug, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, this one uh, is really really cheap, and it hasn't deformed in any way because of the heat in any capacity, and it's doing an amazing job of getting this entire air, uh, entire room. Uh, circulating with the air that it needs to. So anyhow, uh, this entire kit, the line and this bad boy with the connector uh, is 50 bucks. I'm gonna try and see if I can put it up on the screen. It's the Mr. Heater um, two-stage regulator. So now going into that, in order to run a 20 pound tank, 20 pound tanks have more pressure. These run off of much lower pressure, which is why they recommend 100 pound tanks. Now, this two-stage regulator is going to lower that pressure to then be able to use and be run off of a 20-pound tank. Now, you literally just connect it here. It becomes a, this becomes like a middleman from the normal line that you would connect to your tank. Um, and that's literally it. There's nothing else that goes into it. Obviously, I keep um, a little bottle with some water and soap to make sure anytime I connect a new tank that it's being uh, checked for leaks. Uh, when it comes to the leaks, you'll smell it. It's gonna smell like uh, really rotten eggs. Um, it's a smell that you'll, you'll, you'll be able to spot off the rip, especially when you're changing tanks. You'll smell, you'll get a whiff of it, and then once you get that smell, you'll never forget it. Um, but anyhow, um, I'm gonna be pointing that bad boy probably up there uh, or there to make sure I circulate even more. But once the house fan, which I already ordered, is coming in, uh, it'll get optimized even more. The only downside I would say to having something like this or any heater, regardless of whether it's gas, propane, whatever, whatever, is the fact that a lot of condensation forms on your windows and your equipment. So like if I go over here and I touch this, it feels like there's like a thin, thin, thin layer of, of, uh, of like water. It feels damp, it feels like kind of like, a, like the morning dew. But anyhow, this bad boy solved my issues with the cold air in this bad boy in this dry in this garage. So I recommend it a thousand percent. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope I answered any of your questions that you had with uh, heaters. This is by far the absolute best option I think anyone could go for um, if they're looking to set up a a, uh, a garage gym, a garage workshop, uh, anything uh, that you're gonna be in the garage and it's gonna be cold in here and you need to heat it up, that's the way to go without a single data. So if you see there, the automatic shut off kicked in. I have it on setting two, so it's gonna be kicking on and off um, while I start my workout in here. But anyhow, hope that helped. My name is Carlos, peace, love, positivity. See you in the next one. Peace.